if you want to quit your job and become a professional photographer, you are in the right video because if you don't know me yet, I left my country, Spain, almost 11 years ago to pursue my dreams as a photographer in London. I came here without knowing anyone. I couldn't speak a word of English. I was sat in a hostel room with 15 people. I was sleeping literally with my camera bag because it was the most valuable thing I had. And of course, I didn't have a job and I didn't know anyone in the city. So if I managed to become a full-time freelance photographer and creative director, you can do it too. But of course, it took me years, okay? It was very, very hard the first years. And that's the reason why I created this channel, because I felt super alone, I didn't have any guidance, and nobody helped me. And I was super lost, so I made many mistakes, and I created this channel to help you out in your path. So you want to learn with me photography, content creation, everything about the creative industry, and you want to follow along my solo travels as a photographer that I'm starting very soon, make sure to subscribe and click the bell button to be notified about my weekly videos. And today I'm going to talk about how you should transition from your current job to your photography career, all based in my own experience. So sit down, relax and take some notes because I'm gonna be brutally honest. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything because there is no point. I really want you to achieve what I wanted to achieve years ago. So let's go for the first point. Find time to work on it. I don't care how busy you are, okay? Because I know you may have a full-time job or maybe you have kids or maybe you are studying still and you feel you never have time. I know how it feels because I was working as well an average of 14 to 15 hours per day on my feet. I was exhausted. I had no time and no energy left to try to make it happen for myself. So I've been there, but how much do you wanna make it happen? I did want it so bad, and I was working as a fashion stylist in the luxury sector, and what I was doing is taking my laptop with me to work, and then on my lunch breaks, I would be working on my website or reaching out to people for free collaborations, building my portfolio, watching tutorials, I was using all my spare time in my commute to work, I was doing the same with my phone. So use always your spare time, because many times, Maybe it's in your break at work or maybe on your way to work because maybe it's long, one hour or something. I don't know, try to find always a spare time to do it because it's gonna help you a lot. And I know it feels very hard, but please try to put some time aside per day to take one step forward to where you want to be in the future. It can be one hour per day, half an hour, it doesn't matter. If you put together half an hour plus half an hour plus half an hour during the whole week, it's a bunch of time that you can use for your photography business or maybe to learn more how to shoot, to get clients, million things you can do, but always taking a step forward every single day. And once you find some time, the first thing you have to do is a website portfolio. I don't even know how many times I told you my channel to build a website. We all need social media. So you have to have social media because every client and potential client is there. Every brand is there, every freelancer is there, and you can find many clients there. And also it's gonna give you discoverability for your business, so you have to have it. But social media is not a portfolio. It's not a professional portfolio. Everyone has social media nowadays, even dogs and cats. <laughs> so please don't present your Instagram like it's your portfolio because it's not. It's an add-on you can sew. Creating a website is very affordable nowadays, and when I started, it wasn't. So I did spend a lot of time and effort because I was designing the websites myself. So now you don't have the excuse. There are so many platforms out there. The one I use, and I've never been a sponsor yet, <laughs> is Squarespace. I've been using them for years and I love the platform. It's very easy to make a website there. You don't need graphic design skills neither. You just have to grab a template and they have amazing templates and change the text and the photos. That's it and your portfolio is gonna look beautiful because it's gonna look way more professional and you're gonna get as well a professional email. I don't care which platform you use because there are many good ones out there. I'm gonna put a free trial below for Squarespace if you want to check it out. But please, the first thing you should have is a website to present your work. How to build a portfolio. Many of you reach out to me to ask me this question and I totally understand it. You are overwhelmed by it and it's simpler than you think. You don't need clients to build a portfolio you need collaborations, or you need to shoot at home if you shoot product photography, for instance. And so many of you were asking me, but I need to buy products. You don't need to buy products. You have products at home. Maybe you have a phone, you can shoot your phone. Maybe you have a ring, shoot your ring. So you can grab things around the house and shoot it for your portfolio for your website. And you have all the time in the world to build a nice portfolio. And if you are doing portrait photography like I do, 
What I used to do is do collaborations. Maybe you can shoot with friends, with family. Maybe you can browse on Instagram. This is my favorite way. New models that want to work with you. So many people and new models want photos for free. And in exchange, you're going to get a portfolio. So it's a win-win situation. And the model is going to get free photos from you. And you're going to get an amazing portfolio. And if you feel that you are not ready yet, just keep practicing with collaborations. But then you're going to be able to put together a few photos, good ones, please, always good ones, and put them on the website. So this is a great way to do it. And it doesn't cost any money. Invest time in knowledge. Many of you want shortcuts and you just want to get clients right away. But there are so many things you need to learn first. To be honest, I didn't struggle with this because I love learning till the point is quite worrying. <laughs> I barely watch Netflix or things like that. I'm all the time watching tutorials. I don't have days off because I never disconnect, which is not good to be honest. But I like to watch YouTube tutorials. I like to take online courses as well because I'm always learning. I feel productive and currently I'm learning filmmaking. So I'm always learning new skills because this is how it works in the creative industry and you have to adapt. I am really talk about this platform I'm going to be talking about today. But you want to learn more, not just about photography, but also about the creative industry, about marketing, about productivity, about filmmaking, and many other topics related that are gonna help you grow in your photography career, there is a platform that I love, which is Skillshare. They're sponsoring today's video, and Skillshare is the largest online learning community, and they have thousands of courses to choose from. I'm currently learning filmmaking, as you may know, because I want to be able to create better videos for you guys and I'm taking right now a new course from Olaf de Fleur he's an amazing cinematographer and I did a few courses from him already and this helps me a lot with my videos I also took time ago one in video editing that's how I learned to make my YouTube videos as well over there and as we filmmaking you're gonna be able to find so many photography courses as well and marketing and everything you can imagine and right now there is a huge offer going on because Skillshare is offering a full month for free to the first 500 people that go through the link below, plus also a 40% discount of the first year of the subscription. So you don't have the skills anymore because during the month, you're gonna be able to take all the classes you want. And if you like it, you have a 40% on the first year. So make sure you check it out below. Network everywhere. Start saying that you are a photographer. I know imposter syndrome is there all the time and probably you are a beginner and you are thinking for yourself, I'm not good enough, so I'm not going to say I'm a photographer. Trust me, say you are a photographer because I don't even know how many photo shoots I had just because in a conversation I mentioned I like photography. And then people want your services. And many times they don't mind that you are not professional yet. They may just need something simple or something average that doesn't require too much of expertise. So if you are a beginner, go for it. But always say it because you're going to be surprised about how many people need photography nowadays, which is everyone. People keep saying that photography is not a job, my parents included. Now they believe it more, obviously, but they weren't. <laughs> so silence the voices around you as well. This is a bonus tip because I'm sure you have people telling you that you cannot make it happen. Trust me, I did have many people very close to me telling me that all the time and I made it. So now I can show them, right? So don't listen to the voices and start networking. Just when you go out even for party or for drinks, wherever you go, just mention it. Not out of the blue, just organically and just mention it because you're going to be surprised how many clients you're going to get like this. Start approaching potential clients. They're not going to go to you. Okay, you cannot be waiting with a website expecting to be discovered by people. This is not going to happen. But the main mistake of beginners is thinking that you're going to reach out maybe to 10 people and something is going to come up. No, it won't most likely. You're going to reach out to 10 people and nobody's going to get back to you and you're going to be discouraged and then you're not going to do it anymore. Don't do that because otherwise you're never going to make it happen, okay? But I promise you, if you send instead 10 emails, 50 emails, at least a few, they're going to get back to you. Trust me, it's going to happen. I know it's time consuming. I know it takes a lot of effort, but how much do you want it? Again, if you really want it, you're going to do it. Trust me, I spent long hours at night after work being exhausted doing it, and I made it. I know it takes time. You may be tired, but reach out to people. Everyone needs photography. My favorite way, I always tell you, is Instagram, because everyone has Instagram new models, influencers, personal trainers, yoga teachers, small companies, product brands. Everyone is on Instagram and you can reach out as many as you like, hundreds, thousands. 
I promise you, you're gonna get some clients doing that. So yes, do that. I think it's clear <laughs> if I convince you now. And for those who follow my channel, you may know I'm gonna be releasing my first course and I'm very excited because it's been quite long I wanted to do it. I've been working on it for months and in the course I include things I never saw other people teaching and I find it's crucial to be able to make it happen, like how to pitch emails to make sure the clients get back to you, how to negotiate fees with clients, how to price your work as a beginner, as an average photographer and as a pro photographer. I'm gonna include my email templates. I'm gonna include beautiful media kits that you can customize as well for yourself. And obviously I'm gonna teach you as well how to craft the perfect media kit to attract clients. That and many other things are gonna be included in the course and they're gonna help you a lot to land photography work. So please make sure you sign up to my free creative newsletter, I'm gonna link below, because I'm gonna do a massive 40% discount during just 24 hours during the pre-sale of the course, because for being my first one, I wanna do something big. So to be notified about this day when it's gonna happen, I'm gonna send it in a newsletter. And anyway, if you sign up to my free creative newsletter, you're gonna be able to receive extra content from me, so I really hope you like it. Let's talk now about the transition itself. I'm gonna tell you how I did it, and I don't want you to do it the way I did it, because it was very stupid and very risky. <laughs> but to be honest, it did work out for me. So what I did is quit my job and jump into freelancing fully without being safe. Without being safe means I didn't have money saved, I was paying a lot of rent because London is freaking expensive, and I didn't have enough photography jobs. Maybe a couple of clients per month, but I was still charging peanuts because I was a beginner and I was underpricing my work. This is something I'm gonna talk about in the course as well because we all do it at the beginning, so I'm gonna tell you so many tips about that. But yeah, I wasn't having enough money to pay my rent or bills or anything at all, so I was struggling a lot. But I'm a person who works quite well under pressure and I have to thank London for that because I really grew as a person here and it made me very tough. So yeah, I was very stressed but because I was stressed and I was very out of my comfort zone and I couldn't afford to pay my rent, I was rushing my ass off to find clients. I was emailing clients every single day. I was on Instagram like reaching out to people all the time and guess what? the universe provided because of my hard work and I started to have clients and I was like, I can't believe it. I spent years and years and years trying to make it happen, but I wasn't probably working hard enough. I was working very hard, but not contacting clients enough because obviously I was safe. I had my full-time job, I was getting paid, I had money for my rent and my bills, so I wasn't reaching out enough. When I started to reach out a lot because otherwise I couldn't pay my rent, it's when I made it. So yes, guys, don't do this because it's very risky. <laughs> My advice is obviously don't quit your job till you are safe. I would say many people recommend you to have some savings and then jump into it. I wouldn't even do this either because you're going to spend your savings and it's very hard to save money. At least for me, at least in London, it's very hard. So I reckon, yes, have some savings. Obviously, that's good. But then try to get photography work in your days off. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to work every single day. I was doing that at the beginning, even if it didn't work out and in the end I took the risk, I was doing that. I was working on my days off, shooting for very cheap, as I told you, and I was very tired, but it's what it takes. So you want to be safe and start to take shootings on your days off, and then something you can do as well, if you start to have more clients, but you are still not feeling safe, what you can do is reduce your hours at work. I don't know which job you may have, by many jobs, they allow you to go less hours, maybe 40 hours per week, as for 30, a reduction. Many times they do it. I saw people doing that all the time, at least here in London, and then you're gonna be able to have one day extra for your photography. And then, little by little, you can push away your job and become a photographer. <laughs> so this is ideal, guys. And on my channel, you have so many videos about how to make a stable income from your photography. I have so many videos to help you with the studio lighting, with how to make money with portrait photography, how to make money wherever you live. You're gonna find tons of information on my channel. So please check it out. And also remember to check Skillshare below to be able to learn during a whole month for free. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet and like the video because it helps me a lot. And I will see you next week. Ciao.